to Arkansas now. The Arkansas Department of Health is investigating a mumps outbreak that may have infected hundreds of people. And as we looked into this story, we found out that mumps is an infection more prevalent than you might think. So far this year, there have been more than 1,800 cases reported to the CDC in 44 states. In Arkansas, there are 427 suspected cases, many of them school children. Dr. Tiffany Sizemore joins us now with more on this story. Dr. Sizemore, one of the questions when we talk about mumps is you think, wait a minute, I thought this, I thought this was, you know, an old-fashioned condition that you had to worry about. Why, why is it still around? Well, the mumps vaccine, uh, we give two doses typically, one around 12 to 15 months of age and one, the second dose between usually ages four and six. After the first vaccine, there's about a 78% effectiveness of the vaccine working. At the second vaccine, it goes up to about 88%. So the vaccine is not 100%, you know, it doesn't 100% of the time prevent the vaccine. Um, Obviously, there are some children who, for either allergies, uh, 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 religious reasons, or for whatever other medical reasons, they cannot obtain the vaccine. So we rely on this kind of, you know, herd immunity. Um, but these outbreaks typically happen because it's close quarters. So even people who do, who did get the vaccine, they can be still susceptible to getting mumps. And it, and if they do get the mumps, usually it's it's a more mild uh, case. Of the of the disease, so it, it is not a hundred percent. But I, I you know, there's our, a reason we rely on these. Yeah, I think our viewers would be uh, surprised. I know I was to think, wait a minute, I was vaccinated for the mumps, but to find out, well, there still is. It's small chance, but there still is a chance that right. you could you could get the disease. The uh, the health department in Arkansas put out to parents that if their child wasn't vaccinated for whatever reason that they were not allowed to return to school for 26 days. Talk to us about that time frame. Why 26 days? That has to do with how long it takes the virus to really show itself. So you could have the virus and not even be having symptoms for anywhere between 16 and 26 days. So we know around the 26 day mark, you're going to start, you should have started to have symptoms by that time frame. So that 26 days is really to be sure that you're not having any of the symptoms like the fevers, chills, the muscle aches, the, sw the swollen glands in your neck. And then you, you're kind of given the clear that you probably don't have the virus. How dangerous is the mumps? Um, typically, it's not. It's, it's more kind of an annoyance more than anything. It's kind of, you can imagine having a bad flu, kind of feeling really bad and, and having a very swollen neck. But, you know, there, there are some cases, and, and, and it's very rare, where it can affect your brain. You could get a viral, what we call an encephalitis. You could get pancreatitis, um, and in very few instances, deafness. Um, those bad things typically happen to adults who get mumps, kind of like when adults get chicken pox, it's much, much worse than children, um, but it can potentially, in a small amount of people, be very fatal. 